Jackson, uh, between you, Quinshawn, and Zach, who's 390 combined rushing yards and three touchdowns, I mean, to physically dominate in the ground game like that as a quarterback, kind of, what does it kind of mean to, to this offense and, and how kind of demoralizing do you think it could be to the other side? Yeah, I think our identity as a team just starts up front with our offensive line. And, uh, you know, every game is on their, on their shoulders and we rely on them. And they're just, you know, they're so talented and they execute at such a high level. And, uh, you know, just having that feeling of having 300 yard rushers is pretty neat. You know, you don't get that every week. So, uh, you know, it's definitely fun for sure. And, uh, you know, I think the best thing is just feeling how, you know, every play you feel more and down more and more and more and more and just being able to go at them uh, each and every play. When you're in those type of games, you know, where you score and the other team scores and then it's kind of like a ping pong match back and forth, do you kind of just, do you let those type of situations just really motivate you in your office and say, you know, hey, like, let's go do it again. Let's just pick our offense up. I mean, what's kind of that, that mentality look like, especially in a game like that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you just try to respond each and every time. And, um, you know, we knew coming into the game that they were going to give us their best shot. And, uh, you know, this was a huge game for them to try to get their season back. Um, you know, on the path that they wanted it. So, you know, we knew that we were going to get their best shot and that they were going to come out and play all four quarters. And uh, I think for us, we just tried to just stick to the things that, you know, that we were doing. We knew from the get-go that, you know, we could put them on their heels a little bit. And, uh, you know, we just stuck with that the whole time. And, um, you know, when we saw them score, we just knew we had to do the same thing. How'd you spend the delay? The delay? Lightning delay. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Really just chilling. Am I too close to it? Okay. Really just chilling in the locker room with the guys. Um, you know, some of the line were just laying down, had their legs propped up. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we were just trying to, you know, relax, but at the same time to stay locked in. Because, um, you know, we, we had six more minutes left and we had to, you know, we had to finish the game the way that we wanted it. Was there any like coaching motivation or anything, or was it just kind of go wait it out and, and we'll see what happens? Yeah, absolutely. They came in right before we went out, and uh, you know that gave them extra time to scheme some things up um, when we had the ball back. So um, I think when you have that extra time and you have as smart a coach as that we do, um, you know they they you know they were pretty amped up when um, they're able to just you know show us the new plays that we were putting in and uh, couldn't wait to dial it up. Did you know about the onside kick? No, I had no idea. What's going through your head when, when you're seeing that all unfold? And, and how big was that for you guys to go out and score right? right yeah, I that? thought it was huge. Extra possessions are massive, especially in a game like this. Um, huge momentum shift. Uh, you no, know, we were just you know, talking over the previous drive as quarterbacks. And you know, we looked at the big screen and saw that we got the onside. So um, you know, that got us all fired up for sure. Jackson on here, it says in the second half, you guys had 21 passing yards. What, what, do, what do you take away from that? And what do you think that says about the team and offense still being able to put up 48 points? Um, really just, you know, just sticking to what was working, I guess. Um, they couldn't stop our run game. And, uh, you know, we put, we put it on our O-line shoulders. And coming in this week, you know, last week we didn't run the ball the way that we wanted to. So we had to throw it a little bit. And I just think it just shows that how, um, you know, diverse our, our offense is and how we can just do so many different things to put defenses on their heels. Um, you know, we could run it on them when they knew we were running it. So, um, you know, it was fun. And uh, I think it's pretty demoralizing for a defense when, you know, you just get pushed back each and every play. And, uh, you know, so we just put it up on our big hogs up front and, and, and leaned on them. How much rehearsing goes into that fake draw that you threw to Zach? Is that something you practice taking two steps forward or just kind of is it something spur of the moment? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we ran it when I first got here and I think every time that we ran it, it worked in practice. And uh, so we were just waiting for the right time to do it. And, you know, when they, <laughs> when they called it, I think we all knew it was going to be a touchdown. So um, it was definitely a fun play. You know, Dayton Wade had, you know, a lot of those runs outside, caught the touchdown, had, you know, a decent kickoff return as well. What kind of stands out, you know, when you look at him and his skill set? Yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's very talented. He's a guy that, you know, transferred in um, just like a lot of others and 
has been able to just find his role on the team, and he had a big opportunity coming up to, uh, this week, you know, especially with Trey going down, and uh, you know, next man up mentality for him, and um, you know, he's balled since the second he got here. So um, I knew that you know when he had his opportunities that he was going to take full advantage of them, and you saw you saw his skill set on display. Jackson, uh, this is just a totally different offense than we've seen from Ole Miss, maybe even in like past years. A lot different from last year. What what has been the most exciting thing about leading this new offense and this new charge this year? I think really it's just every single week it's like almost a brand new playbook, and um, there's just so many things that we implement every week, and it's almost like you run one thing, you run some of your base things one week, and then the next week they're not even in the game plan. And I think that just attests to how great our coaches are and how um, you know they fully live up to preparation and taking each week independently from the other. And uh, for me, it's just it's really fun because you know when one thing's not really working and the other thing's really working, then we can just lean on that and uh, you know we just make quick adjustments and uh, you know make things work. Jackson, obviously, uh, Mingo set a program record last week in Nashville, and today he has zero catches. Was, was he in your ear at all, like, throw me the ball like I'm open, or is he just cool with blocking and, and just winning the game, I guess? You know, I think it's something that's really cool about Mingo as a person is just how unselfish he is. And the most important thing for him each and every week is just to win. Um, Coach Kiffin talked about it in the locker room that um, – you know, when we came in for the lightning delay, he was just so excited and amped up about how he was getting his crack blocks and how he's just we were just being able to execute and get our perimeter blocks and how great he was doing. And you know, he told Coach Kiffin that he wanted to call more of those. So you know, when you have guys like that who you know look far beyond just themselves, that's what makes a team great. And uh, you know, we got a lot of guys who are just like that, and I think that that's gonna. Um, you know, be a, be a big, big part of us being able to succeed the things that we want to this season. All right. Thanks, Jackson. Thank you. Thanks, Jackson. Should have Zach in.